Hey guys, welcome to the shop. I'm Fred. So tonight, uh, that little piece we made for the uh, for the drawbar, I've got it in the uh, mill on the rotary table. I did some uh, small cuts yesterday. Unfortunately, the camera died, uh, so uh, I do want to get this thing finished. Anyways, I'm going to give you a few shots, and we've got to finish machining it. All right, let's get to it. Okay guys, so we've got the uh, rotary table, it's set at zero. So our first cut's gonna be at zero degrees. Just tighten that up. And uh, let's get to her. Okay, next cut is going to be at 60. Lock off table again and start feeding her in. <clears throat> Okay, unlock the table. Next one's gonna be 120. Lock the table up. Alright, we're going to move the table now 180. Tighten her back up. I'm going to change the angle of the camera here a little bit. Next one here is 300. Uh, 240, pardon me.
All right, next cut is 300. Let me just clean it up there a little bit and we'll come back. Okay guys, we're back and we've got that uh, three-quarter snap-on socket. That perfect fit. So uh, all I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put it in the lathe there and put a little, take these sharp corners off there. All right, I'll come back when we get it set up in the lathe. Okay guys, I got a little chamfering tool on here, so we're just going to slowly come in on the edge there to take that uh, sharp edge off there. There we go guys. So we just took off that here. I don't know if you can see it here, this way here. Took off that sharp edge there. Gives a little bit of radius there, so. There we go. <laughs> yep, so that's it for today, guys. Got things to do. I uh, became a granddad two days ago, so uh, yeah, I've got things I got to get done. So uh, we're actually going to take a little chamfer off that as well. All right, hang in there. Now I'm probably going to send this out to get heat treated because I do want to harden. But there we go. This is one of those flank drive sockets. It's got the little, uh, what do you call it, round uh, corners. So the nut actually is on the uh, thick part, on this part here, not on the on the corners. So yeah, that's why, uh, why you want the snap on it. It'll, it'll engage easier. Yeah. All right. And yeah, that's about it for today, guys. Yeah, you know, like I said, I'm my granddad now, and uh, I got some important things to do. Okay, guys, that's it for tonight. So uh, yeah, we got that little piece made. Um, works out great with the uh, snap-on socket. That's what I'm going to be using on the uh, impact wrench. So again, I'd like to say thanks to all my subscribers. Thanks to all my new subscribers. If you like the video. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, leave comments. Comments are appreciated. Um, 
Yeah, so uh, we're going to continue on this. This is going to be uh, uh, a little while. I'm going to try to take this and uh, figure out what temperature to heat treat uh, 4140 at. I haven't done a whole lot of uh, heat treating. Uh, my friend Pierre does a lot of it, so I'm going to have to uh, talk to him and uh, see what needs to be done on uh, as far as temperature and how long it needs to uh, be heat treated for. And then if I have to quench it or not, uh, I'm not sure. You know, I've watched a lot of the uh, yeah, forge and fire, and these, those guys, uh, yeah, they drop it in oil and away you go. But uh, I think this is a different material. So, anyways, guys, thank you so much. You guys have a great weekend. Bye for now.